Got a final run of the year down on these sheep properties. They're about 90% of the way through their lambing season. I'm down for three nights this trip. Got five properties to visit, try and tidy up what foxes are left. I've also brought some new gear with me to have a play with. The River 2 Pro portable power station to keep all my gear charged and a new laser for the roof mounted spider bot. Should be a fun trip. Let's see how we go. My vantage point for this evening overlooking this mob of sheep, newborn lambs. Spend the first half of the night here and head over to another property a little bit later. G'day. Property owners left me a little treat. What have we got today? Take it back to the car and open her up. Have to bear with me a second. What do we have? To oh my god! Good old Toblerone. That is going to go down sensational tonight. Oh, talk about spoilt. There's that sheep in the cage. Got a fox there. There's another fox just over the back of that dam. There's that you just there in the cage. That little bastard. Really good fox to get on this property. Big healthy dog with a great big buff head mooching around that lamb and you that's in the cage. Farmer's gonna be very happy with that. Look at this little bastard. <coughs> Straight into the sheep. I need him to go left. Good boy. Keep going. Go left. Little shit. You are done, pal. Oi! Top that. Two o'clock in the afternoon. I didn't finish up till about quarter past six this morning. Unpacked everything and um, threw all the gear on charge. Yeah, on that new EcoFlow, which will be pretty cool. Hopefully everything's charged up when I get up and ready to go for tonight. I sat down just before I went to bed. Went through my diary to see how many foxes I've shot down in this area this year. Totaled up to 235, including last night. So another seven last night. And I'm really surprised that they keep coming. I've got two more nights down here this trip. So I should... Add a few more to that tally 
and that will probably see me out for this year down in this area and I'll focus on some more work back near home. Well, exactly what I wanted to see. Everything's all charged up and ready to go for tonight. Sensational. The guys at Eagle Eye Hunting Gear have sent me out a laser mounted to the side of the spider bot with a new mounting bracket. The laser is adjustable, so it has windage and elevation on it. I can now line it up perfectly with the thermal. Any animals I shoot, I'll be able to point the thermal at it, turn the laser on, and it will guide me straight in. This cheeky little bastard has come in and out of that gully three or four times. Every time I've driven down the track, he legs it out to that distance, working his way back into the sheep. He's now at 378. I've got no choice but to take a shot at him. I'd say that was a bit of a success. Get that up here. First little test for the laser, I just uh, aimed the thermal down at the fox I just shot and just walking straight out to the point where the laser's at and see if it guides me straight in, I'm hoping it does. What do you know? There's a laser pointer and there's Mr. Fox. Makes it bloody easy, doesn't it? What have we got? A boy. Very good. Oh well. That is definitely a success. Just walking back up to the car now. Had a few people ask whether or not it was dangerous walking back into the laser. Well, I don't think it would do your eyes any good if you look directly into it, but it's a very fine beam and it's pretty easy to avoid on the way back up. So I'd say that's pretty safe, as long as you're not stupid. Got a fox mooching through the grass there. I've got absolutely no shot. Been him terrorising those lambs. Oh, I just need him to go a bit further right. Keep going, mate. Just need him to get almost to that tree. A little bit more. Come on, mate. Get away from the sheep. That bear will do me. Oi! Just on halfway through night two, it's been a bloody slow night tonight, not many foxes about. Time for a bit of sustenance and it doesn't get much better than a nice hot cup of tea and some homemade spaghetti bowl. Two of the bastards. Right around the lambs. Mummy there with two brand new lambs. Oi!
I just wanted to pause the video there for a second. Obviously, the most important thing to any YouTube channel is its fans and followers. I'm very humbled by the growth of the channel, and I just wanted to say I received an email during the week from a young fellow by the name of Harry Kerr, saying that his dad was an avid watcher, loved the channel, and yeah, I was a little bit chuffed to receive it. And he just wanted to know if I could give his dad a bit of a shout out. So, Peter Kerr, how you going buddy? I hope you're doing well. Thank you very much for the support. I'm glad that you love the channel and enjoy watching the videos. I've swapped the Thermion out for the Hick Micro Thunder V2 tonight. Slightly higher base mag, so it should provide some awesome footage. No laser rangefinder, so that's something I'm going to have to get used to. Good day. On the foxy in the background, none the wiser. Sneak up and see if we can get him to. You bastard. Oi! Knees down. Oi! Oi!
Another great trip in the bag. Not as many foxes this time, which shows that we're having a really good impact on their numbers in the area over the last six months. And no putty cats, so apologies for all you cat lovers. I used the Hick Micro last night and really impressed with the image out of that device. The higher base mag's really handy, but I am gonna have to get used to not having a rangefinder on the scope. The EcoFlow power station worked an absolute treat. I'll put a link in the description of the video if you want some more information on that product. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you all again next time.